So, Governor Kanit Flug, uh, Governor of the Central Bank of Israel, again an A, top rating, uh, top grade in Global Finance Awards. Uh, can we start with a few words on the Israeli economy? Where do you stand? What uh, is the economic condition? I would say generally that given the global, uh, the situation of the global economy, the Israeli economy is doing quite well. Uh, we've seen moderate growth of about uh, two and a half to three percent. Strong labor market, uh, growing employment, very low unemployment, uh, rising wages. So I would say that uh, we're doing quite well. So all this discussion about uh, too little growth for too long doesn't affect uh, or doesn't refer to Israel, for sure. Well, I think growth could be stronger, and actually one of the disappointing uh, developments is uh, productivity, which, is, which has been very, very moderate. So we are growing, but it's mostly on the basis of growing consumption and services sector. Uh, exports are not doing too well and that's obviously related to the state of the global economy and actually exports are the sector where usually you see productivity growth, higher productivity and productivity growth. So when exports are sort of doing not too well, it implies slower growth. Now what about the general themes of these meetings of the IMF and the World Bank? Uh, what do you think are the key issues and what in, you, in your opinion compared to previous meetings is the general atmosphere and the level of concern? I think there are concerns that are coming from political developments regarding protectionist uh, initiatives and forces towards protectionism and I think that comes on top of the fact that in any case, world trade has been growing very moderately, even given the rate of growth of the global economy. I think it's related to the composition of the growth of global economy, which is with less investment, we have less trade. And when you have on top of that uh, protectionism, that's bad news for generally, I think, from the, for the global economy, but in particular for small open economies, which are very dependent on on global demand and on export sectors. And, in, I mean, you mentioned uh, uh, protectionism, but the issue of growth worldwide, you think, is a big concern? Because that's the feeling that this is like the key theme this year? It's the combination of very moderate growth and even more so very moderate um, trade, growth of trade. And I think that's compound by the, these movements which may not yet have their results on the ground, but I think there is a lot of fear that these um, movements towards more closing economies, more protectionism, are going to actually get stronger hold. And that, that's definitely bad news for the global economy as a whole. Uh, one last question about the negative interest rates. Some of the emerging markets and emerging economies have complaints on the effect that negative rates have on their economy. Do the negative rates have any effect on the Israeli economy in terms of investments, in terms of savings? Yeah, the very low rates and the ultra-expansionary monetary policy in major countries certainly affects us, mostly through the foreign exchange market. There is a pressure towards appreciation. Our response was also uh, low interest rates, where it's 0.1% for quite a while. Uh, and there are some pressures uh, in the foreign exchange market, so definitely it is affecting us. However, I should say that the main issue is really the weakness of the global economy and the ultra-expansionary mon monetary policy is a response to that. So, uh, uh, to the extent that it helps the uh, global economy to grow a little bit more, it, it's understandable. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you